Well, hello, and welcome to another Tea Time vlog, where, uh, yet again, I'm failing to promote my own mugs. Uh, hello. Ah, oh, delicious. Uh, yeah, I'm just having a quick um, uh, break. Uh, I'm working on the 2CV today. Uh, I haven't shot any footage this morning. I'm just feeling um, a bit um, blare. I, I think this time of year is just getting to me slightly. Short days, longing for, um, not necessarily warmth, it's not too cold today. And uh, yeah, just um, longer, longer days, I think, and a bit more focus to crack on with the cars. I'm just um, I'm replacing the rear wing, the one that blew off, could be repaired, but I've got a good steel wing to go on. I just need to um, prep it and paint it. So that's what I've been doing today. Uh, that will be in a future video. Uh, the Toyota here. Uh, yesterday, I tried to get the spark plugs out so I could do the compression test. And uh, also the plan was to put some paper over the, the plug holes and just crank it over. It's been sitting here for a good few days now and we would see if any water got ejected from cylinders. Um, I've got a bore scope somewhere, which is another option where you stick it down and you look for the clean cylinder. That can be a clue that um, water's getting in where it shouldn't be. But yeah, it's, it's a bit weird. Uh, last week I noticed the coolant bottle was empty. So I topped up the coolant in the engine and then topped up the coolant bottle and uh, drove all of about six miles and uh, all that water has gone again. Now it isn't steaming out the back noticeably. It's a bit tricky this time of year because cars always steam, um, especially when the engines aren't roasting hot and uh, on, on a short journey, it's not gonna get roasting hot. Uh, but so yeah, it's all a bit baffling, but uh, I do have someone who's gonna come and give me a hand with this. Next week we'll do a bit more investigating and if we have to, we'll start ripping heads off. I'm not too scared by that job. The access isn't terrible. It's just the access to the spark plugs is terrible unless you remove the entire inlet manifold. And uh, I just really couldn't face that. Um, hopefully um, Chaz, who some of you noticed in the comments when I first um, posted about this engine having issues, um, he, he's gonna hopefully help me diagnose it and get sorting it out so uh, we'll see how that goes he, he's a former Toyota tech so um, he used to work on these when they were brand new and uh, that could well be helpful uh, the fit multiplier will be disparting dis disparting disappearing and departing tomorrow uh, and I'm helping it on its way I'm going to drive it to its new owner it's going to be living um, in Newport near Cardiff uh, so I've got that drive I've just taken it for a quick run now just to make sure it is actually drivable uh, driving a car with a dicky clutch can be stressful, but uh, when you drive old cars, you kind of develop a few tricks and tips and um, learn to drive around issues. So uh, there'll be a fair bit of that going on tomorrow. I should make an interesting video on the main channel. Foxan here is the um, daily driver at the moment. Got to put some miles on the poor girl. Uh, one of the things I was going to do today was have a look at that rear brake. Uh, I got slightly caught out there, didn't I? Because I said I'd go around all the brakes and adjust them of course i didn't i needed the fronts uh so i do need to do the backs and we'll see if that's where the issue is where um just a slight imbalance on the back brakes it wasn't bad enough to pass the mot but uh, i know it's there i would like to sort that out so we'll, we'll give that a go um maybe today it's not the best uh daihatsu is awaiting super glue because i broke a, a quite an important um, vacuum pipe off and uh, I was looking to source another engine for that and I can seem to have failed to do any more on it. So um, I need to um, do something about arranging that. I don't know where the engine's gonna go. Um, it'll just have to go in the unit somewhere. Uh, be quite interesting uh, because um, yeah, I think that's probably gonna be the easiest way of sorting that car out. No guarantees a new engine will be better, but an engine that's got 80,000 less miles on it stands a fair chance of being better, I think, I'd hope. So uh, I think that's the route we're gonna go with that one. I mean, it, it, it doesn't make any economic sense at all. We should have just bought the 190 quid car, uh, used it until it was crap and then got rid of it. That's how Bangonomics works. But yeah, uh, I'm not very good at Bangonomics in case you hadn't noticed. So we're gonna throw loads of money at it instead and see if that fixes it. Uh, two CV, as you can see, is still in progress at the moment. Um, alts it. It looks like I've got the wrong track rod arm. I'm um, not entirely sure how to resolve that issue yet. Because, yeah, it seems to be really hard. Can you believe it? It seems to be really hard to get bits for a car that was only made in Romania and didn't sell very well. So um, we'll, we'll see what we can do there. 
but I do want to get the old sit done. The Yugo Sana, I think, is provisionally sold. Uh, so that's going to be departing. That's just a project too far. I, I think there's a temptation. You, you see this a lot on YouTube um, where um, you can kind of use the channel as an excuse for owning more cars. But as I'm fast discovering, more cars is more problems and uh, it's just getting monumentally stressful. And uh, I think there is going to have to be a bit of a fleet cull uh, in 2022, try and get back to a few core favourites. And uh, that means potentially no collection capers. Which is a shame because you love collection capers, I love collection capers, and that's where the problems start. If I was a reasonable car dealer and bought OK cars, did them up a bit and sold them for a profit, that'd be fine. But uh, I'm not. I um, spend far too much on cars that arguably aren't worth that much and then end up stuck with them. So it um, can be problematic. Oh, hello, pussycat. It's a pussycat. Hi, pussycat. You're now on the internet. Oh, not everyone wants fame, you see. And um, uh, I think that's probably true of Matt, who is doing the, the welding work for me, um, and the person who's buying the sauna. So, um, yeah, there, there, there won't be much more on the sauna. I just need to clear it out and uh, get the tyres pumped up, see if it'll roll back and forth a bit. And uh, hopefully that'll be off to a new home, and that will help because I will have more space. And uh, it'll help my mental state because it's one less thing to worry about. Uh, some people are very good at having cars just sitting around, but if you've got the space, that's fine. I haven't. I'm, I'm um, under quite considerable space constraints here. Um, it didn't feel it when I moved in, but having acquired 12 vehicles at the moment, two of which are now sold, but still here, um, yeah, it's a lot of cars. So we'll get back down to 10, but really I, I need to get down to 8, I think. I'm just not sure how we achieve that. But uh, we'll see going forward. It, it's a noble aim. And uh, yeah, maybe it'll actually happen. Because I think it's one of the reasons. I'm still not in a particularly happy place when it comes to the tinkering. And I think it's just because I'm overwhelmed. I don't have a very good brain for focus. So I'm not coming here and thinking, this is the one job I'm going to do. I just end up trying to do 12 jobs at once, do none of them well, and uh, I never get anything finished. And it occurs to me driving Foxanne. Foxanne is not driving well. Uh, she's not starting well at the moment. I'm not sure quite what's going on. Uh, the battery's got the green health um, bulb showing okay on it. And the whole time she's been parked up here, I've never once put a battery charger on Foxanne. Um, I've used her to jump start other cars, but generally I connect the battery up, away she goes, happy as Larry. But since I did the oil change, uh, she's not starting when cold. Sometimes she'll go with a bump, sometimes I have to put my jump pack on just for a few more cranking amps and then she goes. So all a bit peculiar really. I mean I've used 2050 oil which is the recommendation but it's odd that she now won't start so um, yeah a bit peculiar. But yeah she's not great to drive because I still need to do all the front end. Um, she's not pulling right so on hills she's very slow and she shouldn't be she's not particularly heavy and the engine should in theory be getting on for about 40 brake horsepower so um yeah things are not quite right and uh, i'm getting a bit fed up even poor ellie um i was meant to be sending ellie up to peak 2cv just for some fettling just to try and get her running absolutely perfect i, I suspect one of the issues is buying a ford fairmont um compared to the wonderful waft of the fairmont everything else suddenly feels like hard work so um Truly the Fairmont is for old people, and I'm feeling very old today. I even bought some corduroy trousers in Marks and Spencers the other day. That's how old. Uh, I need to get me some Werther's Originals. Mostly I think I'm missing uh, the long distance adventures because I've driven that car to Croatia and back. Uh, she's also been to Switzerland and back, and a um, lot of touring around Europe. Getting on for three years ago, it'll be three years ago this summer, isn't that frightening? How time is marching on. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully the world will calm down a, a bit this year and we can actually do some road trips again. There was a comment today saying I miss road trips and it's just like, you're not the only one, mate. I miss them a huge amount. So uh, let's hear it. Let's hope there can be more of them. You know, I'm trying to wonder where I can go in Fox Anna. I don't want to go away for weeks at a time uh, at the moment. So um, I, I just need a, a 
nice little drive to. So um, I'll have a think about where we might go. I think there's a few places in Wales that would be quite pleasant. Uh, and uh, I think if I put more miles on it, I think she will improve with the mileage. NEC, let's just talk quickly about that. Um, I think I talked about it in a previous video. Fox Annie is going to be on the Reliant Owners Club. You will find myself, Furious Driving, and Steph I Driver Classic in Hall 4 on a separate stand. Uh, really looking forward to it. Should be, I'll, I'll do a proper announcement video on that. I will be doing a ticket giveaway. I should also have a discount code for you. So we'll see if that all comes to fruition. But that's probably about it. I'm running out of tea. I need to get back to it. I've been waiting for paint to dry. Yeah, there it is, drying on the wing. That's the primer. Uh, I've had to order up some top coat, which I haven't actually got at the moment. So that's as far as I can take it today. That's okay. We'll let that dry naturally. And uh, yeah. Hopefully all to the good times. So I'll see you in another Hub Notes video.